Hey everybody, Average Picker here. It's late at night and I am really tired, uh, but we got a package today. Okay, so what you are now watching is an edit. And uh, the reason for that is I had used his real name um, and then realized I'm an idiot. I looked at the key because um, I'd said I did not know, I couldn't remember what uh, his Reddit handle was. Um, but this is Bruised Ego and it is by Georgia Jim. So there we go. Georgia Jim, wait, you don't live in, you don't live in. <laughs> Georgia Jim, we need to, um, we need to talk. <laughs> I'll email you. Uh, I think you're pretty close to me, I think. I'll have to look it up. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to get, um, cut his name out, get proper name inserted. Let's go back to the video. Um, but yeah, so he made an interesting looking uh, challenge lock uh, a while ago and I said something to him on Reddit about it and uh, I knew that one was accounted for, but I was like, hey, you know, you make another one, let me know. Um, I'd be happy to, love to try to pick it. Um, so this should be it. So we are going to, I don't think there shouldn't be anything else in this box. I think it is just the one challenge lock. Let's see, I'm not revealing the address there, did I? I don't think I did. <clears throat> so let's see what we got here. Okay, we'll see maybe about picking it. Oh, you really wrapped that up. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's built around a sergeant. I do like the sergeants. Oh my, jeez, what is we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So is it actually a seven pin sergeant? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, looks like it is. Oh, we might not have an out of box pick here. <laughs> I don't know, you know, of all the sergeants I've got, I don't know if any of the ones I've got, I've got a whole box of them sitting here actually. I don't know if there are seven pins. If I have one that's seven. Have I picked a sergeant that's seven pin? Surely maybe. I'm gonna show you guys the keyway. Doesn't look too terrible. Um, That should work. All right, let's see what we do here. I'm trying not to think about the fact that it's got seven pins in it. Hmm. Oh, I'm not, you know what? I just thought about something. Keep going. Is that a pin? Yeah. Man, I think I'm at the very end. I am at the very end of this pick to get back there. Yeah, we went dead. Thought I had overset something early on. A little bit of warding banging. picks real quick. Get up a little closer to those pins. Oh, we got a little bit of a false. Ah, 
<laughs> it is weird. I mean, I've done some pin locks before, but it is weird reaching back that far. It just it doesn't feel normal. <laughs> Mm, I may have just overset pin one. Let's do another reset. I suddenly know which pick I kind of want to be using. Um, but it's back in the other room. I know the keyway looks wide, but there is, oh, there we go, there we go. But it does narrow, and that narrowing where I'm at, I'm not fitting well into it. I'm kind of banging the right side of it. Feeling a bit of a gap. I haven't checked it totally, but I may have overset something in the middle. I'm doing a reset again. Good sign though, it's not just opening right out of the box. This is really the pick I want to be using, but that seven reach is okay. There we go. That's what I wanted. That false again. Yeah, that seven is a big reach. A little tip off of one, which is exactly what I wanted. And we got a little bit more of a false. I'm going to feel very carefully now. For any feedback? I hope it's not off that last pin. Because I'm barely back there on it. Okay, well, that's a little bit rolling back, a little bit more of a false. Okay. Uh, I'm not getting any feedback. I suspect something is just barely hanging on. I have like no tension on the tensioner right now. The first one needed to go just a tad more. No, it's feeling really good. Second feels good. We're not like banging a tailpiece or anything back here, are we? No. All 
I'm only switching to make sure I've got a good lift off of that back pin. Just want to make sure I'm feeling it out all right. We are sitting really into in a false. Um, everything is feeling pretty picked. Now I do have it's possible. Okay, I thought I had found an overset pin, but I'll show you the false I'm sitting in. So where are we at? Ten minutes. Oh. Something just happened. I tipped something up towards the front. I, and I got some movement on the core. Like, well, if you felt movement in the front of the lock, why are you in the back of the lock now? Because <laughs> we just are. Kind of tempted. I just manually rolled, took the lock back a little bit. Okay, I, that's got to be the one right there. Oh, oh, I just heard that big pop. That was somebody coming on clogged. Question is, was my guess right? And the answer is apparently no. <clears throat> okay, we've, we've done a reset now, just if you're uh, track we just did another one <laughs> I think that tail piece is pushing into the back of the lock but it I'm just going to check real quick to see if uh, it's to a point that it's hindering the lock. It is hindering the lock. There we go. switchy back because with this one getting up close to the pins it makes it um, with this deforest 
besides the fact it reaches in the back nicer um, because it's up so close to the pins even though it's not as ideal it's budding the warding some um, it's easier to feel a bind You know, we've hit 15 minutes. Um, yeah, we'll go a little bit longer. A little bit of counter rotation. I don't want to lose that pin. I want to stay on that one that was counter rotating, but I'm going to switch back now because I'm better with feedback in this with this pick. So yeah, there's this kind of initial dead um, where there's not. It doesn't feel like a whole lot's happening, and then you start getting the feedback from it. Ah, I just dropped everything. Checking that back pin and counter rotating against it. I don't think that back pin needs to go too far. Yeah, so you know what, we're at 17 minutes. Um, I'm gonna cut the video here. Um, may just go right back into it, so maybe you're gonna see an immediate part two from right where we're leaving off now. Um, but yeah, I, I, overall feeling right now on it, it's not too bad. Um, the tolerances on sergeants are easy, that um, they're good tolerances, and so it makes it easy when converting it to a challenge lock, um, sometimes to lose that advantage of those good tolerances um, and it doesn't seem to be the case here um, it, it's it's still there um, it does not feel like a sergeant I can tell you that um, but uh, that's not a terrible thing just saying uh, but yeah sometimes you, they'll, they'll feel real sloppy um, if you get in there and it, there's this tendency to just keep going narrow and narrower and narrower on the pins I don't know what's in this one that um, doesn't feel like it's the case and usually when that is you can just click these things open in no time so yeah let's cut the video and I'm probably gonna get back right again to it <laughs>